I'd like to go over some uh, ideas on how to do uh, academic research. I've been looking at some tools and came up with some ways of doing it that I think make sense and I thought I'd share them. Um, so what do I have in mind here? Well, uh, I think that uh, really this is, uh, video is intended for fellow EMBA students. So here's what I want to do is take you through a few tools that, that I've been using and really enjoying. Uh, the first one is uh, OneNote. Microsoft OneNote, which I've probably bragged to you about before. It's a very cool tool. So there's that. There's a thing called Zotero, which is an add-in for a Firefox browser, and then a Google Scholar, which is just a, a, a particular version of Google that's aimed at scholarly research. So let's give it a shot. Um, let's start by looking at uh, OneNote. So um, I've got a project that I'm doing right now on microfinance in China. And uh, here you can see uh, I've got a bunch of topics across the top um, with uh, papers um, for each topic down the side on a variety of things. Because they're all in one note, I can search them all. I can annotate them. I can tag them with different uh, keywords and things like that. And it just makes it very easy to, to use them on an ongoing way. Of course, I brought all these things into OneNote simply by printing articles when I was looking at them as PDF files. How did I get that? Well, I started with Google Scholars right here. Okay, so uh, Google Scholar is, uh, like I said, a variation on Google. Uh, you type in whatever you want and it brings your results back here. But what's really cool is to spend a few minutes before you do that setting up the Scholar preferences. Um, so one thing you'll want to mention is what school you go to. And I type in UWO and it came back with this uh, thing here. And I just check it say, yeah, that's right. I'm going to University of Western Ontario. Other things you want to make sure you set here are uh, you'll want your bibliography manager to show links imported in EndNote format. There's a variety of them here. EndNote's the one that really uh, that Zotero seems to use. So uh, you'll want to set those preferences. Um, that way, when you get your results, you'll see a couple of interesting things. This thing here, get it at Western, is a uh, term that will be added because you set those preferences. And if you're logged in to the Western uh, libraries, uh, you'll be able to click that and get the article directly. So you'll see exactly which articles are available from Western uh, for full download. Um, another thing here is, uh, is this link here, import into EndNote, uh, which is really great and uh, if I click it basically you'll see down here that Zotero is now saving this item in my bibliography so I'm going to open this up uh, Zotero is something you can use to uh, keep a whole whack of different uh, libraries of bibliographic references and uh, once you've looked at an article and just said save it as, as I just did it's in your library and it's available to you uh, when you go to cite things so if I flip over to Word, you'll see that um, here's an article, here's a, something I'm working on, and here's some references that I've cited. And uh, at the end, there's a bibliography that I've been able to put together. And um, so it's, uh, it's a pretty cool way of doing it. There's uh, Zotero also has an add-on available for Word. And uh, once it's installed, you have these new icons here along uh, something called the add-in menu choice and you can basically be in an article and say well I want to add a reference here and it will bring up your collection of Zotero references and you can point at something and say uh, add a page number if you want and say yeah that's the one and it'll put it in there uh, and it'll be basically a bibliographic reference according to Word so you can edit how the style looks and things like that and you can produce at the end of your document a, uh, a list of just the references you've cited. Um, so all this is a pretty cool way of doing things, I think, and um, that's really it in a nutshell, and I uh, hope that you will enjoy. That's all for now. Take care.